Hi, classes. It is so wonderful to see you again today. So wonderful to see you, class. I'm going to go ahead and post hi in the chat. As soon as you come into class, if you'll say hi back so that I know you're here. Had a nice long weekend and ready to get going today. I'm wearing this glove because uh, using the this uh, mouse, it irritates me. It has this light under there and it eats my hand. So I am looking forward to class today and I hope that you all are as well. For those of you who are new here, I want to welcome you to class, and I want to remind you that you need to bring two things to class each time. Uh, we have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays for 20 free lessons on how you can teach yourself how to read. Yes, you can teach yourself how to read, and I show you how to do that on this channel. So we have class every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that will be for the next 20 free lessons. Today is lesson number 12. And hi, Karine and Bruce. Karine says, good evening, class, and Bruce says, hello. Okay, so right now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to review with you some of the prefixes and suffixes, and uh, we're going to learn, uh, well, we're going to learn two new ones today first. But you are going to be writing sentences today. Yes, you are going to be writing sentences, so that's something for you to look forward to because we're getting more advanced now in this class. Okay, so the first suffix that we're, uh, the first prefix that we're going to be learning today, let me put that in the chat. Write that down. And I was gonna tell you that two things that you need to bring to class for those of you who are brand new here, you need to bring a notebook to write all your notes in and to write your sentences in and to be used as a guide so when you're alone, you can have something to study by. And uh, these index cards as well, you need to have a stack of index cards when you come to class as well. So that I will tell you what to write on the index cards versus and what you put on the index cards, you put that in your notes as well. And uh, the index cards will be used for someone in your home to quiz you a friend or family member to quiz you on what you have on the card. Okay. And also, if you are tuning in for the first time, it's okay for you to stay in today, but also go back and watch the videos in order. Okay, so that first word, I've cut my cards in half <laughs> to kind of make them stretch. If you will write this down, this is a prefix, meaning the first words that you will see in several sentences, in several words, excuse me. This is the letter R, makes the R sound, and the letter E makes the E sound. When you run the sound together, you get re re okay so if you'll go ahead and write this on your card and also put this in your notes and those of you who are in class if you can write in the chat some words that you know that start with re the re sound okay and i'm going to put some that's a really good one right there that i just put in the chat how about the word, I'm gonna just write these on the big card here. This word right here, re, oops, excuse me. Okay, reinvest, very good. Uh, I see, I'm gonna get to yours in just a moment. Okay, re, V has the bus sound, U. Review. The I and the E in this word both have the E sound. So that's why we just say, say E once. And the W has the was sound. Review. Review. R E V I E W. You all should be reviewing every night. You should review your notes every night. Okay. And if I wanted to write reviewing, then I would put ing, that suffix on the end. And that would be, let me write that down. Reviewing. This is reviewing, okay? Okay. And I see that Karine wrote read. Let 
let me just click on okay so she spelled it correctly so read is r-e-a-d look on the screen okay you can write that on one of your uh flashcards also bruce wrote a good one um reinvest look on the screen you can see how to spell out the word reinvest you can add that on your flashcards here as well as in your reading notebook reinvest r-e-i-n-b-e-s-t and read is r-e-a-d countess says hello good evening class hi miss good evening and hi to you as well countess and i see look bernard wrote rewind <laughs> So R-E-W-I-N-D, very good. Like if you're listening to some music and you want to rewind it or you want to rewind this video if you missed the first part, then rewind, R-E-W-I-N-D, excellent. Um, Anisha, hi, wrote read and remember. That is excellent. Remember is R-E-M-E-M-B-E-R. -E -E and Kareem wrote really. <laughs> R-E-A-L-L-Y, really? Are you really coming to class? Good. And Brianna says, hi, Miss, and hi to you as well. Okay. And uh, let's see. Some more that are good. Um, let's see. What about this word? Report. I'm trying to save some of my card, so I'm just going to click on the screen instead of writing it on the card all the time. Report is R-E-P-O-R-T, report. The R-E has the re sound. The letter P has the pus sound. O has the O sound. Well, the letters O-R has the or sound. The letters O-R spell the word or. Are you coming here or going somewhere else? So report or, and the T has the T sound, report. Okay, Luke Bernard wrote remove, R-E-M-O-V-E, -E, remove, excellent. I like the words that I'm seeing here. And um, also, uh, Here's a big one here. What about revolution? Revolution, R-E-V-O-L-U-T-I-O-N. Remember that shun is one of our, uh, is one of our suffixes at the end. T-I-O-N has that shun sound, revolution. Remember that? And, um, Let's see. Oh, here's a good one that I know you all are familiar with if you like to watch a lot of TV. How about remote? You use the remote control to control the volume and change the channel on the TV. R-E-M-O-T-E. -E. Re and then moat. M has the M sound. O-T has the T sound. And that E is silent. Remote. Okay, these are all words that you can add to your cards, flashcards, and your reading notebook. Okay, all right. So the next one, uh, we kind of talked about it on Thursday, but I hadn't reviewed it with you yet. The next suffix is it. Okay, I-G-H-T. I-G-H-T. The G is silent, okay? I-T. What words end in I-T? Okay, put those in the chat. What about... What about this word here? 
bright. Look on the screen. Bright. R-I-G-H-T. And then if we use another one of our Okay, good. Uh, Karine wrote light. So you have the ite sound at the end. We're just adding one or two different letters in the front. If you put an L in front of ite, then you have light. Turn on the light. L-I-G-H-T. Very good, Karine. Uh, hi, Galele. How are you doing? I'm reviewing a new uh, suffix. It's ite. Okay, and let me go back to that. A new suffix that I'm reviewing since uh, Galele just came in is ite, I G H T, and I put the word right, R I G H T, and Kareem wrote light, L I G H T. Okay, uh, Luke Bernard was going back to the re. Reimburse, excellent. R E I M B U R S E. Very good. Hi, Austin. It's good to see you. Okay. So uh, I just introduced a. If this is your first time coming to class, Austin, that's fine if you want to stay in class, but also so that you can get caught up with the rest of the class, start back at the very first video on our live sessions of how you can teach yourself to read so that you can be caught up with the rest of the class. Okay, uh, another one is, what about this word? Midnight, <laughs> midnight, M-I-D, spells mid, and then night, we have the word it at the end, but just had a letter N in front to get that N sound. Midnight, M-I-D-N-I-G-H-T. Okay, the spelling is on the screen. Write that on your index card as well as in your reading notebook. Austin, when you come to class, you should have a stack of index cards like these that you can get from the dollar store. Uh, and I tell you what to write on the index cards. What we're writing now are words on the index card so that someone can review with you the words, how to spell them, how to use them in sentences. They may ask you what the word means. And then you write the word in your notebook as well so that you can have something to study by. Okay, because you can take the notebook with you. Okay, another good one. Luke Bernard wrote night. Very good. Just, I, I posted the word midnight. So you could just say night by itself, N-I-G-H-T. The N has the N sound. And I-G-H-T has that height sound, okay? This is height, I-G-H-T. You just put that letter N in front and you get night, okay? All right, Anisha wrote two very good ones. Okay, I don't think I thought about that second one, but the first one, might. You have height, but just put the letter M in front. M has the M sound. So might, M-I-G-H-T, I might. Talk to you later. And the next word is height. That's an excellent one, Anisha. H E and then height. I G H T. Height. What is his height? Basically asking how tall is someone. Okay. So we have a lot of good choices there. And uh, another one. is tight. We have the letter T in front for the tough sound, and then we have ite at the end, I-G-H-T. Those pants are very tight. Okay. Okay, and uh, okay, here's one more. Sometimes you might see this like in a, a book. Okay, uh, twilight. <laughs> or it's twinkling twilight outside. And welcome everyone. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're just tuning in. 
Twilight is T W I L I G H T with that light sound at the, at the end. The letters T W has the T W sound. T W. The letters. T W has the T W sound. T has the T W sound. W has the W sound. T W T W. Just like the word uh, twist. So twilight. Okay. With that ite sound at the end. And Bruce wrote, wrote a really good one that I didn't think about. Light. So you have the, the letter F has the F sound. The letter F has the F sound. And then you have the ite sound at the end. F for the F and then ite, I-G-H-T at the end. Okay, very good, Kareen. And Countess wrote, I still can't see. Okay, remember how I told you to make your screen big? Uh, Countess, let me show you. Let me share my screen. Remember how I showed you how you can make your screen big? All you have to do. Uh, let me click right here. I got to mute the sound when it comes up. So um, anyway, uh, look in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, Countess, and you'll see uh, something that says for you to make the screen bigger on YouTube. There's a oh, second. Let me plug my, hold on a second. Let me plug the, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to uh, show that to you now. Okay, I'm still sharing the screen. Okay, so here it is right here. There's a delay in the screen. That's why you just saw me get up. So Countess, you can click right here where it says full screen, or you can click right here where it says theater mode. That's for everybody. Anytime you can't see something, just click either theater mode or full screen, okay? Okay, and then you can better see because it'll make the screen bigger for you. Okay, and uh, so you can go with that. Uh, another thing that you can do uh, while I'm sharing my screen, uh, you can click over here. Uh, I don't think it's sharing the screen. Okay, right here. You can click right here where it says full screen or theater mode in the lower right hand corner count is to make the screen bigger. Another thing you can do is you can click up here, see these three dots up in the upper right hand corner if you're using Chrome, for example. Then right here where it says zoom, see it says 100%. You can click the plus sign to make the screen bigger. See how it's getting bigger? And then if it's too big, you want to make it smaller, you can, well, it looks kind of blurry right there. But anyway, you can make the, the screen smaller by hitting the minus sign right there. Okay. So I'm just showing that to you. So just automatically do that if you can't see something, okay? Okay, so everybody should click the thumbs up, please. I would really appreciate it. If you're just now tuning in, it's fine for you to stay today, but always go back and watch the live videos in order, starting with the first one of how you can teach yourself how to read, because that is possible to teach yourself how to read. Today is video 11, lesson 11. So we're going to write some sentences but um, I'm going to have each of you to write your own sentences. I'm going to say your name. I'm scrolling up to the top. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pick, because we're kind of pressed for time, I was going to go over these uh, prefixes and suffixes, but we don't have time because we need to have time to write our sentences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose 
uh, from one of the cards, either the prefix or suffix, and whichever person that I'm calling on, I'm going to think of a sentence for you to write using that prefix or suffix, okay? And then hopefully if we have time, I'll check your sentences. Okay, so the first person, uh, I'm going in the order of who texted first, okay? So uh, Kareem will be the first person, okay? And I chose the suffix CL for you, Kareem, okay? And CL has the clus sound, just to kind of help you out. CL has the clus sound. Now, this is going to be an open book, uh, open book. So let me show you all one more time in case you need to get help on Google. Let me share my screen one time so I can show you how to get help on Google if you need help with writing any of these sentences. Let me show you one, oh, sorry. Let me show you one time. Let me share my screen one more time to show you that. I've showed this several times on here, but I'm gonna show you again. Okay, so what you can do, you can go to Google, G-O-O-G-L-E dot com, hit enter. All right, and for example, if you need to learn how to spell a word, um, like if I'm if I give you the word kite, Okay, you spell it the best, best way that you can. Okay, uh oh, sorry. And also write the word definition after it. Write the word definition oops, after that. I don't know why it's not skipping the space. Well, here's the word definition right here. D-E-F-I-N-I-T-I-O-N. So write the word, then write the word definition. And then right here, I'm going to click this blue speaker. And, and it said the word kite. So I know that that's the correct spelling of kite. Okay? So that's what you can do if you get stuck on a word to write your sentences. Okay? And this is how... Let me show you how to spell the word definition. You need to put this in your uh, in your notes. Hold on just a second. This is how you spell the word definition. So if you get stuck on a word, spell it the best way that you can in Google, and then write, then hit the space bar to have a space between it. Then type the word definition, and the spelling for the word definition is on the screen. And then hit that blue speaker to see if you have the correct word. Okay. So do that when you're writing these sentences because this is open book and uh, I don't want anybody get, to get frustrated. The important thing uh, for right now is not necessarily that you know how to spell every word because some of the words that I give you are gonna be words that we haven't gone over. What I'm checking for is that you have a clear understanding of the sounds that the letters make. Remember how at the beginning of a lot of the videos when I first started this series on how you can teach yourself how to read, I went over the sounds that each letter makes we never get rid of this. We constantly refer back to this, okay? So uh, e even new words that I'm learning, because I don't know every word in a dictionary, okay? There's over 150,000 English words. I don't know every single word out there. I also don't know how to spell every single word, but I have an understanding of, of, the, of what letters uh, are in the alphabet and also the sounds that each letter makes. I also have a clear understanding of the different prefixes and suffixes that are out there and how those sounds are to be said together. Okay, so if, if you need help, I'm going to help you along the way when it's time for me to check your sentences. So don't be nervous about anything. We're here to help each other. We're not here to laugh at anybody or give anybody a hard time. Okay, so the first person at the top of the list is Kareem. And... Uh, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select either a prefix or suffix, and then I'm going to give you your sentence. If you forget what I say, simply rewind the video. Even though this is a live video, you can rewind it, and then you can listen to your sentence again, okay? All right. Okay, so uh, Kareem, your uh, prefix that I chose for you is CL has the clus sound, clus. Okay, so here is your sentence, Kareem, that I want you to write. 
And as soon as you uh, have your sentence written, I want you to write it in your reading notebook and then post it in the chat, okay? And I'll check them in, in a moment. Okay, so Kareen, your sentence is, the clock has been set. The clock has been set. For some reason, my space bar is not working. I don't know what is going on with that. Okay, so the next person is Bruce. Bruce, mm -hmm. this is your prefix to be used in your sentence. This is the tr sound, tr. Bruce, I want you to write this sentence. The tree is very big. The tree is very big. The tree is very big. Okay. The next person is Anisha. I have chosen for you the prefix FLA. FLA. F-L. Okay. You can write, I see a little fly. I see a little fly. Let's see. That is Anisha. I see a little fly. Right, the next person is Countess. You have the prefix DR has the dr sound, dr, Countess. Okay, right. Please drive me in your car. Please drive me in your car. Please drive me in your car. Okay, look, Bernard. I have chosen for you the prefix wa, wa. W H has the wa sound. Okay, your sentence is When are you coming? To see me. When are you coming to see me? When are you coming to see me? Okay. I see a couple of people probably got scared and dropped off, but this is something to help you. I think you already, I think I already had you to do one, Anisha, yeah. Okay, Brianna. Okay, I have the suffix "ite" for you, Brianna. How about I might talk to you later? I might talk to you later, Brianna. That is your sentence. I might talk to you later. Okay. 
next person is Delaylee. This is something to help you. Do not drop off. Let's see. Delaylee, your prefix is TH, has the th sound. Th. Okay. The boy is walking with the girl. Galele, that is your sentence. The boy is walking with the girl. The boy is walking. Okay, all of a sudden my space bar is now working. The boy is walking with the girl. Okay. And it looks like we got Okay, Austin, you are the next one. It looks like some people got scared and dropped off when they saw that I was getting closer to them, but please don't do that. This is something to help you. If you need help, I will help you. Okay, Austin, you are the next one. And I have chosen for you the prefix shh. Austin, I have, will you shop at the store? Will you shop at the store? Austin, that is your sentence. Will you shop at the store? And you all, when you write your sentences, make certain that you use the right punctuation. Remember, the first word in each sentence should be what? Capitalized, right? And make certain that you end the sentence correctly with the right punctuation. So if you're making a statement, you should have a period at the end. Okay, I'm going to start checking the sentences. This is where it, uh, that this uh, space bar was not working and then all of a sudden it started working. Okay. I see some posted their sentences already. Okay. It looks like Bruce is the first one. Let me check his sentence. Okay. Bruce wrote, the tree is very big. Good job, Bruce. Good job. And that is correct, everyone. So you can put that sentence in your uh, reading notebook. The tree is very big. That is written correctly. You capitalize the first word in the sentence, which is the, uh, the word the. You capitalize the T and you put a period at the end. Very good. Excellent job, Bruce. Proud of you. Good job. Okay. And Anisha, let me check. Yes, Anisha wrote, I see a little fly, excellent. The only thing, just put a period at the end or you could put an exclamation mark, I see a little fly, you know, if you want excitement. But you have, I see a little fly, you wrote everything correctly, you spelled everything correctly, very good job, Anisha, I'm proud of you, good job. Okay, so that is correct. If you wanna write that sentence down, class, I see a little fly. Okay, Luke Bernard, let me check with what I wrote. Okay, because I, I wrote all of your sentences down in my notes. <laughs> okay, because I couldn't remember all of them. Okay, Luke Bernard wrote, when are you coming to see me? Excellent, good job, Luke Bernard. I'm very proud of you, that is written correctly. The uh, only thing is just capitalize the first word in the sentence, which is the word when. So I would just need for you to capitalize the W. When are you coming to see me? Other And you put the question mark up there at the end. Excellent. Excellent. You put the right thing at the end. Not a period, but a question mark. Very good because you're what? You're asking a question. When are you coming to see me? 
So you put a question mark at, at, that, at the end. Okay, very good job, Mupinar. Okay. Uh, sorry, the me, I forgot. Uh, oh, oh, you just came to class. Okay. Okay. All right. Demi um, says, good evening, miss. Good evening, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. No problem. What I'm doing now, Demi, is I'm giving everyone a sentence based on whichever prefix or suffix that I select. So I don't think that I've given you a sentence. So let me um, find, find one for you. Uh, hopefully one that I haven't used. Okay. Demi, I want, this is going to be your prefix has the fr sound fr has the fr sound okay um so i want you to write this sentence to me um the food tastes so fresh the food tastes so fresh i want you to write that sentence to me and post it in the chat let me write it out Now my letter H key is not working. The food tastes so fresh. Okay, and that is done. Okay. All right, all right. Now let me check the next sentence. Okay, just post it any, anytime you get a chance to to me in the chat. Okay, and okay, Brianna wrote, I might, let me, let me check to see if that's the sentence I gave you. Okay, Brianna, very good job. I'm so proud of you, excellent. That is correct, Brianna. I might talk to you later. The only thing I just need for you to put a period on the end. Otherwise, you have the right words there. Very good. Excellent job. I'm proud of you, Brianna. Okay. Countess Rose. Let me check your sentence. Okay. Excellent, Countess. Excellent job. I'm proud of you, Countess Rose. Please drive me in your car. That is written correctly. And you all can add these sentences to your uh, reading notebook if you like. Please drive me in your car. And I'm glad that you got the word please correctly because I think we just learned that yesterday. The important thing, class, is that you recognize uh, for right now is that you recognize the words when you see them. You know how to pronounce the words. You know how to pronounce the, the sounds that the letters make. And then after a while, the spelling will come later. Because if you spend a lot of time stressing over how to spell every single word, especially these bigger words like the word please, then you might get frustrated and I don't want you to get frustrated. So right now, again, just recognize the word when you see it, know how to pronounce, break it up, break the word up into syllables and not know how to pronounce each section of the word. That's what we're working on now. All right, Countess wrote a different one. Uh, I did not give this sentence, but this is a good sentence. Still, daddy is driving our red car. Okay, excellent job, Countess. I'm proud of you for Coming up with that sentence, very good. All right, Bruce wrote, can I get a little harder? Okay, Bruce wrote, can I get a little harder sentence? Uh, see, that that is good feedback, Bruce, because I'm, I don't know what reading level everyone is on. I don't know what reading level everyone is on. So um, what about... Uh, That information is inconvenient. That information is inconvenient, Bruce. That information is inconvenient. Okay, I need to write that sentence myself. Gotta get another keyboard. <laughs>
Okay. That information is inconvenient. Okay, and Galele wrote. Let me check what I gave you. One second. Okay, that looks uh, that looks very good, Galele. You're only missing one word. It should be the boy is walking with the girl. Otherwise, we have everything spelled correctly. So excellent job. See if you can rewrite that, Galele. Right, the boy is walking with the girl. So I need for you to add the word is in there. Can you write that sentence again for us, Galele, and add the word is? The boy is walking with the girl. The boy is walking with the girl. Okay. And everyone else, uh, if you will write in the chat, I will see you tomorrow. See if you can figure out that sentence. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Let's see what sentence I have. That's the sentence right there that Bruce wrote. Okay, that looks very good, Bruce. You you definitely uh, made an excellent effort on that sentence, and I'm proud of you for writing that. That information is inconvenient. Okay, let me just uh, make one correction. The word inconvenient. Okay, if you will look at this sentence here that I wrote. Okay, just make that correction with the spelling of the word inconvenient. You let the letter I out. But otherwise, you did an excellent job at that, Bruce, because that is a very difficult sentence. The word information and inconvenient, uh, those are very big words. <laughs> so you did a great job, Bruce. Okay, Demi wrote, I will see you tomorrow. Good job. Good job, Demi. Demi wrote that sentence. Good job, Demi. Now, did you write the other sentence, to me? Um, I need for you to write, Demi. The food tastes so fresh. The food tastes so fresh. See if you can write that to me. Okay, good, Galele. Everyone else write in the chat, please. The flower is small. The flower is small. See if you can write that in the chat, everyone. The flower is small. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Let's, if you would write the sentence in the chat, the flower is small. This is open book, so if you need to look at your notes, that's fine. The important thing is that you know what letters, what words to put where. Okay, Brianna wrote. I see you tomorrow. Very good. That's a good sentence, Brianna. Good job. I see you tomorrow. Or you could say, I will see you tomorrow. Can you write, I will see you tomorrow, Brianna? Okay, can you make that uh, change in the sentence? I will see you tomorrow, Brianna. Okay, and I think that sentence I said earlier for everyone. Okay, the flower is small. Very good job, Brianna and Bruce. Okay, so let me click on those sentences. Yeah, it looks like you both posted around the same time. Okay, so Brianna wrote, the flower is small. Good job. The only thing is just put a period at the end. The flower is small. Excellent job, Brianna. I'm proud of you. And Bruce wrote, the flower is small as well. Good job, Bruce. I'm proud of both of you all. Also, Luke Bernard wrote, the flower is small. Good job, <laughs> Luke Bernard. Just capitalize, uh, get in the habit of capitalizing the first letter as the first word in the sentence. Uh, no matter what that first word is in the sentence, you always capitalize the first word in the sentence. 
and put uh, punctuation at the end. In this case, uh, you could put a period or an exclamation mark for that one. The flower is small. Okay, and Galele wrote, the boy is walking with the girl. Thank you, wonderful. And that was a very long sentence. So good job, Galele, I'm proud of you. The boy is walking with the girl. So all of you wrote your sentences today. Nope, nobody bailed out. Nobody refused to write their, uh, well, uh, AJ, let me check one thing. Uh, Austin, I don't think I got your sentence. Okay, so class, will you help Austin with this sentence? His sentence was, will you shop at the store? Everyone, please write, will you shop at the store in the chat? Will you shop at the store? Okay, and Demi wrote, the food tastes so fresh. Good job, Demi. I thought of you. The food tastes. Uh, actually, um, on taste, listen to this, the food tastes. So just need for you to add the letter S on the end of taste. The food tastes so fresh. Okay, but still, good job to me. Okay, so just write a letter S after the word, after the letter E and taste. So it should be T-A-S-T-E-S. -E Excuse me, and Countess wrote, I will see you tomorrow. Good job. Good job, Countess. Everything is correct in that sentence. Countess also wrote, the flower is small. Good job. Good job, Countess. And Bruce wrote, will you shop at the store? With a question mark. Very good job, Bruce. And you capitalize the first word. Uh, Countess wrote, will you shop at the store? Good job, Countess. And that is a question, so just change that period at the end to a question mark. Good job, Countess. Proud of you. And Brianna wrote, will you shop at the store? Good job. Just change that period to a question mark. Good job, Brianna. Will you shop at the store? Just change that period to a question mark. And Galele wrote, the flower. Okay. Um, is that how you spell the flower is small? I think you got the S and the I backwards. <laughs> So the flower is, should be I-S, small, but still good job, Galilee. Good job. Okay. Demi wrote, will you shop at the store? Very good. Just capitalize the, the uh, first letter in the first word of the sentence, which would be the letter W in will. Will you shop at the store? Okay. Uh, everyone write in the chat. We had a good time in class today, right? We had a good time in class today. Write that sentence in the chat. We had a good time in class today. We had a good time in class today. Write that sentence in the chat. Even if somebody else writes it first, you still make an effort to write the sentence because this is something to challenge you. We had a good time in class today. Just waiting for you to post that sentence in chat. I know you can do it. And in the meantime, okay, I see we had two people that posted already, but still all of you keep working. Okay, Demi wrote, we had a good time in class today. Good job, Demi. <laughs> Demi, you are on fire today. Good job. And Brianna, oh, oops, sorry, click on the bottom. Brianna. You are on fire today. We had a good time in class today. Good job. Countess, you're on fire. We had a good time in class today. Good job, good job. And Bruce, you're on fire too. We had a good time in class today. Good job, good job. I'm so proud of all of you. 
yes, this is what you have to do. Practice your sentences. Uh, one more. Luke Bernard wrote, we had a good time in class today. Good job, Luke Bernard. Just capitalize the uh, first letter and the first word of the sentence. Capitalize the W in we and put a period at the end or exclamation on that sentence. Um, let's write this sentence. Uh, I enjoy spending the evening with you. I enjoy spending the evening with you. I enjoy spending the evening with you. to get another keyboard. <laughs> okay. All right. I see that someone posted in the chat. The lady wrote, will you show up at the store? Good job, the lady. Just uh, two things, capitalize the W in the first word of the sentence, the will, should be the capital W. And since you're asking a question, you put a question mark at the end. Will you show up at the store? Good job. Okay. Okay, proud of you, Galeli. Good job. Now, Anisha wrote, we had a good time in class today. Very good job. Good job. Good job, Anisha. Proud of you. On fire today. And Countess wrote, I enjoy, I enjoy spending the evening with you. Good job, Countess. Good job. I enjoy spending. Let me see what I was saying. Oh, yes, that is excellent. You wrote the sentence correctly. Good job, Countess. The first run to write that sentence. I enjoy spending the evening with you. And we also have Brianna, I enjoy spending the evening with you. Good job. Just put a period at the end, Brianna. Good job. And Galaley wrote, we all had a good time on clothes. Okay, the, the okay, that's good. Good effort, Galaley. I need for you to capitalize the first letter of the first word in the sentence. Capitalize the W and we. We all had a good time, and that should be in class. Your sentence says, Galaylee, we all had a good time on clothes. Okay, but that's close. We see if you can make that correction, Galaylee, with the last few minutes of class. We have about three minutes left. That should uh, correct that sentence, Galaylee, to say we all had a good time in class. See if you can make that correction. Okay. All right. And uh, now all of you. Uh, if you will post these prefixes, what prefix has the cluss sound? Post that in the chat. What prefix has the cluss sound? Write the prefix, excuse me, that has the cluss sound. Write the prefix in chat that has the cluss sound. Okay, and Bruce wrote, I enjoy spending the evening with you. Good job, Bruce, good job. And Bernard wrote, I enjoy spending the evening with you on YouTube. <laughs> Very clever sentence. Good job, Luke Bernard. Just put a period at the end. Okay, so you change, you spice that up by changing it to changing it to YouTube. Okay, good job. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, we have three people that have respond. Okay, the prefix that has the plus sound is CL. Good job, Brianna. That's correct. And Demi, that's correct as well. CL and Countess. Excellent, CL. What, um, we have one more minute left. What suffix has the, write the suffix, spell the suffix that has the ing sound. Spell the suffix ing. Ing, such as shopping, dancing. Spell that ing sound for that suffix. Any 
you all are doing such a wonderful job today. And I'm, I'm trying to select an emoji. Okay. I'm posting that emoji for all of you all who have participated. And many of you got your sentences correct. That is so wonderful. Got all of your sentences correct. So you did 100% today. And um, I definitely love teaching you all, so I'm putting a heart there as well. You all have done such a wonderful job, and I want to uh, give you all a hand clap just for participating in class. So I think I got those emo emojis correct today. Okay, and let us let me check the last one. Okay, the ing sound is spelled I-N-G. Good job, Bruce. Let's see who else got that right. Demi as also. Uh, and Demi wrote brain as the ing sound at the end. Good job, Demi. Also, Brianna wrote ing, and Countess wrote springing as a word that has that ing sound at the end. Sorry about that confusion, class. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I got a sudden mes message on my screen that said that my computer was shutting down and it was beginning that process fast and I didn't want to lose the class. So I hope that you heard me still talking. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, I don't know why wash hands came up. I did not type that, that was weird. <laughs> okay, so uh, Luke Bernard wrote clothes. Uh, thank you, Miss from Demi. You're very welcome, Demi. And I thank you for attending and being such a good student. Brianna wrote, thank you, Miss. Keep safe. And you all keep safe as well. Thank you, Brianna, for that. And uh, uh, Countess wrote, thanks, and you all are, are very welcome. I want to ask you all to click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you want to support the channel, if you'll give me just a second, please, then if you can... Um, support to my PayPal me, which is right here I'm posting. That is my PayPal me link. And also, if you want to uh, shop on my channel, uh, I have an art channel as well. 
but I have some uh, reading paraphernalia on there if you want to purchase anything from there that, um, oops, there's the link right there, sorry. Okay, so I wanna thank you all for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, to start, subscribe to my channel. Yes, you can teach yourself how to read. And as you see, my students are making so much progress. And I will see you all in the next one, Lord willing. Thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one, Lord willing. Thank you for watching.